here's a look at homework problem number 93. It's a KSP problem. It says what's given is the KSP for iron 2 hydroxide, 4.87 times 10 to the negative 17th, a very slightly soluble salt. So what I've shown is the dissociation. We would release one iron with a plus 2 charge and two units of hydroxide at a negative 1 charge. Setting up our equilibrium expression, products over reactant, but this solid salt drops out, and we just represent the iron ion as an x. The value of hydroxide ion is 2x, and the coefficient means that we would have to square it. So simplifying that, we see Ksp is now set equal to 4x cubed. Dividing Ksp by 4 and cube rooting, we find 2.3 times 10 to the negative 6 molar units. The x were molarity. The question asks you to solve for grams per 100 mils. Now it becomes unit uh, manipulation. Big M is moles per liter. Our desired unit is grams per 100 mils. So just carrying that answer down, representing big M in terms of moles per liter. First conversion, I'm getting rid of the liter unit and representing that there's a thousand mils in every liter. We're asked for a hundred milliliters, so the first conversion uh, cancel liters by setting up a conversion of one over a thousand. Multiplying by a hundred gets that target volume of 100 milliliters. In order to turn our mole unit into gram units, we needed a molar mass. 89.8 is our formula weight of FeOH2. Converting big M moles per liter into units of grams per 100 mils converts X, where it stood as molarity, into gram units in 100 milliliters of solution. Molarity, setting it for 100 milliliters, and using molar mass to convert to grams per 100 mils.